All right, so I just pulled a coin. If you turn 90 degrees to that and swing again, and it's still a good tone, you probably have a good target in the hole. Could it be a two cent piece? Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading down to a site. It was on the 1860s map. We're hoping there's some good stuff down there. We're gonna find out. We're gonna head down that way and hopefully start digging some good stuff. Let's go. All right, so we made it down here. You can see the uh, at least one stone foundation. Now, if you look that way, it's pretty flat for the most part. The creek is down behind me here and a hillside out in front. So I think for the most part, we're just gonna search this area right in here, see what we can come up with. If we can find a few things in here, uh, it'd be awesome. But I do know that there's been groups of people down here that have metal, detect metal detected before. We're gonna see how good they were. All right, very first find in the hole, right off the bat. This is the very first tone that I heard. Got a little musket ball. Not even about 10 feet from the uh, the stone foundation there. I don't know how old it is because it doesn't show any white patina on it. I'm about 99% sure that's what it is. It's a pretty cool find for the first one. It was pretty deep. I'd say probably you know eight or nine inches deep. So barely registering on a metal detector, but I got it. This is a good sign. Let's see if there's anything else in here. All right, second find in the hole. A little bit of iron in between the last, the musket ball I just found. But I got this piece here and I was tapping it on my shovel to try to get the dirt out. It wasn't all dirt in there. I'm gonna turn you around so we can maybe look at it together and tear this one piece out of the middle. See if we can't figure out what it is. All right, so I don't know what's going on there. I mean, this could be just, a, you know, some piece of the house, like a part of a doorknob, whatever. But it's definitely something. Just don't know what it is. So there's that piece and this piece, and this was inside here. I'm not real sure what that could have been. I thought maybe it was a lantern, piece of a lantern, but the more I'm looking at it, I don't think it is. So this was a, a loud 52. So this one was totally missed altogether. So we got a loud 6970 right here. Haven't dug it yet. I'm gonna set you up and we can dig it together. We're gonna find out what it is. Found actually right there it is. What the heck is that? Pipe wrench maybe. Nope, it's like an old rusted up chain. Barely moves. I think that's what it is. I would have never guessed that's what it was. It sounded like a real tight 70 signal. Obviously it's a big chunk of iron. All right, so I just pulled a coin. <laughs> it's kind of weird though, because it was given me in the, in the 70s. It was really scratchy. I mean, it didn't sound the greatest at all, but I do know, you know, if you uh, swing on it and you get a 70 in one direction, if you turn 90 degrees to that and swing again, and it's still a good tone, you probably have a good target in the hole. Now this was doing that, but there, I think there's so many targets around it, it was making the uh, the VDI on the detector jump around a whole lot. Can't always trust that. I was going by more on the tone. So I'm gonna turn you around. It's a nickel size, which is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Could it be a two cent piece? I doubt it. But that would explain why the numbers were higher because the nickel rings up at, on a, like a 60 on the day it's two. I'm gonna turn you around. We're gonna look at it together. All right, see it right there? Pretty sure that's a nickel size. Hmm, see anything on it yet? Oh, I do. Right there, do you see it? It's a V-nickel. I wonder why it was giving me that. Maybe there's more stuff in there, more coins. Wouldn't that be cool to get a coin spill? Now you're for sure should be able to get a date on there, but you know me and dates. I'll try to clean it off here a bit, see if I can't get one. All right, so there it is. Uh, can you make out the date? I thought I saw 1917 or 1919. Pretty cool. Definitely a V nickel, no doubt about that. Definitely pretty cool, being as this this site's been detected quite a few times. Deus two comes through again. Oh yeah! All right, we're gonna check this hole again, see if there's anything else in there. All right, so I swung back over that hole, and there's another coin. I think there might be another one outside of that one too, but I'm not real sure. That's why the numbers were totally bouncing around on me. This one's the size of a uh, a cent, small cent. Now it could be a weedy, but. I do know there's been Indians found at this site in well, Barber, but that, that dates up around that vehicle as well. So we're gonna find out what this is. All right, right there. Like I said, it's the size of a small scent and it could be a weedy. Yep, I think I see Abe. Yep, it's a weedy. I'll take a weedy. If it's in line with the, uh, the other one, it's gonna be, I see it, it's 1923, I believe. Could be wrong. 
but I'm pretty sure that's the date on it. So they're right around the same time, early weedy. We'll take it, 100 year old coin right there. All right, so right there's where I found the weedy and the V nickel. There's another tone in there. And it was giving me an 82, I believe. So it could be another weedy. We're gonna check. It could be junk too, who knows? Let's find out. All right, so like I said, no guarantees it's gonna be anything good. So don't be disappointed. <laughs> We're gonna find out what it is though. Maybe my detector's playing tricks on me too. Oh, doesn't sound very big. That could be wrong. Square nail. Not sure if that's what I was hearing or not. Eh, it could have been. Every once in a while I hear a little, a little high chirp, but we'll scan over the hole again with the detector. See, I pull out the camera and you get a square nail. If I wouldn't have pulled the camera out, it would have been a, uh, a barber or a seated dime. That's the way it goes. But we'll scan over the hole one more time here and see if there's anything in there. That looks like that's gonna be it. All right, moving on. So I don't know what the streak is here with uh, underwear buttons. Dug another one. This was a two hole button. It was bringing up 91, 92. I was, I was almost betting on a silver coin, but underwear button, yay. <laughs> All right, so finding a hole here. So I had a 52 tone, dug it, got a chunk of iron out. It must've been like the top of a nail or something with a lot of rust on it, but uh, another finding a hole, I'll turn you around. All right, you see the handle in there? Oh, right there. Is it gonna be a fork or a spoon? It's a spoon. And it's just a copper spoon, not pewter. There is a little design on it and it used to be, used to be silver plated. So not a spectacular find, but hey, I'll take it. All right, so I had a steady 86, 87 in the hole here and it was super shallow. So I took my pin pointer out, went across the ground and it popped out. Now it's the size of a uh, small US cent. And with those numbers, I'm gonna say it's probably another weedy. Yep, I see it already. So there's the wheat back. It looks a little toasty. I don't know if I'm gonna get a date off that one or not. But it should be right around, you know, the teens. The date almost wants to come through. 1918 maybe? Not real sure. But another weedy. Can't beat that. Digging coins, that's all that matters. All right, let's go. This one fooled me. It was giving me a 90 on the dais too. It was really deep, uh, a good eight, 10 inches deep. I thought it was gonna be a silver coin, but it's the size of a cent. And rain up that high, I'm gonna say it's another weedy, which I'm okay with that, but I was hoping for a silver. All right, so unless there's another coin in there, this was it. Yep, another weedy. It was really green there for a second. Green weedy. I wanna say I see 32, but that could have been. This place was gone by 1940, so I'm not sure exactly which, which date it went back to, because 1940 is the earliest aerial we have of it. So somewhere between 1900 and 1940, this was gone. Then another weedy, that's the third one. I wanna get that silver coin in here. I don't know if there's gonna be one though. We'll keep going. All right, so I'm hopeful this one's gonna be an Indian. It's giving me a lower number, down around 80, but I could be wrong. Seems like it's a lot of weedies over here on this side. So if I was a betting man, I'd say it was a weedy, but we're gonna check and see if it's an Indian. I think it was up here somewhere there. there it is. So it wasn't very deep, so that's worrisome. Well, maybe this one is an Indian because it's kind of harder to see. Yep, it is. Holy, no way. Hey, it's starting to get dark. This would cap it off right here. Let me do a little bit of a clean, cleaning job on it and we'll come back, see if we can get a date. All right, so I cleaned it up a little bit. I think it's an 1889. Is that what it looks like to everybody else? So I'll take that. Wasn't expecting it. I figured this place was gonna be wiped out completely. Never hunted out. That's what they say. Nice find right there. Don't know if we're gonna get the silver coin or not, but we're looking. All right, so the finding hole here, I have no idea what it is. Never found anything like it in my life. <laughs> I don't know, double-sided binky. Double-sided Revolutionary War binky. No, I have no idea what it is. But it's two hooks. Not sure. Your guess is as good as mine. If you have any idea, you know, you can throw a comment below. Not sure what it is. It sounded good, but we're gonna keep on moving on. Farther down that way, I think there might've been an old barn site, maybe another uh, home site as well. It did show another home site on the map in 1860 down that way. So we might go down that way, see if we can stumble upon a little hot spot. All right, so another fun that <laughs> I'm on a streak of is something you normally don't find whenever you're metal detecting, but I'm gonna turn you around, I'll show you. So as you can see it in the hole right there, we got another fork. This one actually, eh, maybe it is copper. 
say it feels heavy, but maybe it's all the dirt hanging on there. <laughs> Who knows? It's a sturdy fork right there. So not something you normally find when you're metal detecting. It's normally spoons, but I'll take a fork too. All right, guys. So I'm wrapping it up. I want to thank you guys for always tuning in. Love the interaction you guys give on the videos as well. If you'd give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel, we'd appreciate that. Jerry and I release a video every Saturday, eight o'clock in the morning, and we're starting to do Wednesday episodes. So look out for those as well. We also have a whole slew of other episodes. You can also check those out. Otherwise, we'll see you next adventure.